fishmongers in Japan have promised themselves this year will be better than last year. The disaster last March hurt many in their industry. They gathered for the first auction of the new year at Tokyo's Tsukiji Market, the biggest wholesale fish market in Japan. They watched as a bluefin tuna sold for a new record high. The auction kicked off around 5 a.m. The market was filled with vendors who pledged to help revive the disaster zone by selling fish from the area. A 269-kilogram tuna from Aomori Prefecture fetched the new record high, more than $740,000. The selling price was $260,000 higher than the record set last year. A Japanese sushi chain based in Tsukiji itself made the successful bid. This tuna is from Oma in Armory Prefecture and weighs 269 kilograms. Oma tuna is good. I wanted people in Japan to enjoy it. Sushi restaurants from overseas have been among the highest bidders for tuna in recent years. Japan's nuclear crisis minister says he wants to make Fukushima Prefecture an international center to promote nuclear safety. Goshi Hosono envisions setting up an institute where specialists would be trained and advanced radiological medicine would be studied. Fukushima Prefecture will be a relevant venue for the world to learn about the basic principles of nuclear safety. In an interview with NHK, Hosono said the institute would also help people learn about the long process of scrapping the reactors at the Fukushima Daiichi plant. The work is expected to take 30 to 40 years. We will conduct advanced work in areas such as radiological medicine and decontamination. Lessons learned must be available to the rest of the world. Hosono also said his ministry will work to develop robots that will be used to remove spent fuel rods and dispose of the damaged reactors. The head of Japan's nuclear safety watchdog wants to win back public's trust. Confidence in atomic energy dropped following the Fukushima accident. Hiroyuki Fukano of the Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency, or NISA, says his organization should do everything it takes to restore faith in the government's energy policy. We have no option but to go back to basics and make as much effort as possible in order to regain public trust in nuclear safety. Fukano spoke Wednesday to NISA officials. He said he was deeply sorry his agency was not able to prevent the accident at Fukushima Daiichi. The government launched NISA 11 years ago. The agency will be merged with the Nuclear Safety Commission and transformed into a new nuclear regulator in April. Critics have characterized NISA as a nuclear watchdog that lacks teeth and independence. A government report released in December said agency officials working on the emergency task force at Fukushima Daiichi evacuated in the initial stages of the accident. It also said NISA collection and release of information was insufficient. Japan's agriculture ministry says only 20 percent of the farmland devastated by the March 11th tsunami could be restored before the planting season next spring. Some 20,500 hectares of rice paddies and fields in the northeastern prefectures of Iwate, Miyagi and Fukushima were damaged by sludge and salt carried in by the tsunami. The ministry says that by the spring of next year, removal of sludge and salt would be finished for about 4,300 hectares or 20 percent of the damaged farmland. The ministry plans to complete restoration of all farmland in the disaster-hit areas in about three more years, except for that in the no-entry zone around the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Japan is seeking to boost the country's agriculture ahead of expected economic tie-ups with other nations. The government will earmark nearly $13 billion for the sector in the budget for fiscal year 2012 starting April. As part of the plan, the state aims to double the number of young people working in the farming industry by fiscal 2016. Under the new measure, about $20,000 a year will be offered for up to five years to people aged 45 or younger entering the sector. 
The government will also pay farmland owners who rent out their fallow fields. That's to raise the average acreage of farms to make them more competitive globally. The government's inconsistent policies have been a risk factor for farmers in the past. Policies need to be set without any change in stance. Japan's leading electronics maker has developed technology that could make contaminated soil safe. Engineers at Toshiba produced a mobile system to clean up the grounds of schoolyards, parks and public spaces. Workers are loading up their trucks to begin the job in areas around the Fukushima Daiichi power plant. Government rules for the cleanup take effect later this month. Then communities will begin full-scale decontamination work. Toshiba spokespersons say their equipment can decontaminate 1.7 tons of soil and sludge per day, and it can remove up to 97% of the radioactive substances. Toshiba and Japanese machinery maker IHI also collaborated in developing a system to extract low-level radioactive materials from water in reservoirs and sewage systems. The devices are based on technologies used to decontaminate the Fukushima Daiichi plant. We'd like to decontaminate the soil and water with this system. We'll go ahead with the work after checking that the communities are safe. Then we hope residents will come back. Company spokespersons say they're trying to reduce the equipment's operating cost and improve its treatment capacity. They hope to ramp up production while assessing demand for the product. Life is expected to get better in 2012 for people affected by the accident at Japan's Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, but it will take a while. In the meantime, many are finding comfort in tradition. More than 20 people gathered Monday to celebrate their coming-of-age day. Japan's coming of age day is usually marked on the second Monday of January, but the village of Katsudao in Fukushima Prefecture usually holds the event on January 2nd. The date is convenient for many young people who return from Tokyo and other places to spend the New Year holidays at home. Katsudao's residents left the village following the accident at Fukushima Daiichi, so attendees of this year's ceremony gathered in a hotel in Miharu, which is also in Fukushima. The town is now home to about 60% of Katsudao's population. The ceremony started with a moment of silence to pay respect to all the people who died in the March earthquake and tsunami. Then the head of Katsudao, Masahide Matsumoto, spoke. He said he hopes young people feel unity with their community and are proud they are from Katsudao, even though villagers can't live there right now. Hardships continue, but we're willing to contribute in any way to our hometown so that we can build a brighter future. The new adults then watched a video highlighting the happy times from the days when they were in primary and junior high school. Many pets have been abandoned in the no-entry zone around the troubled Fukushima Daiichi power plant. More than 330 dogs and cats were rescued in December. The Environment Ministry in Fukushima Prefecture allowed rescue operations for dogs and cats in the no-entry zone. The animals were left there because either their owners died in the March 11th disaster or the owners could not take them to evacuation shelters. The Environment Ministry and other relevant officers put together guidelines for special permits to enter the restricted zone to rescue dogs and cats. Sixteen animal protection groups had entered the off-limits zone by the end of December and rescued 332 dogs and cats, which were loose in the streets. Some of them were reunited with their owners. Several hundred more pets are believed to be in need of rescue. A sake maker in Miyako City has celebrated the New Year with its first release since the March disaster. The 160-year-old brewery resumed production three weeks ago. It was rebuilt on the site of the former plant, which was destroyed by the tsunami. The brewmaster says he's happy that the new sake has the same high quality it's always had. He hopes lots of people will enjoy it. Kicking off 2012 on a high note, six meters high to be precise, construction workers in Minami Soma take turns on the ladder. Their acrobatic stunts are a New Year tradition. One performer holds a banner that reads, Rebuild Minami Soma. This year's event had to be relocated. 
The usual shrine is in the no-entry zone around the Daiichi plant. Two thousand eleven saw the fewest number of newborns in Japan since the end of World War II. The decline in the country's population is accelerating. The health ministry estimates that one million fifty seven thousand babies were born in two thousand eleven. That's a drop of about fourteen thousand from the previous year. The number of deaths in 2011 was estimated at 1,261,000. That's up around 64,000 due to the aging population and the March disaster. As a result, the number of deaths has exceeded births for the fifth year in a row. The difference stood at 204,000 in 2011, topping 200,000 for the first time. The ministry says Japan's population is expected to continue shrinking as the nation is seeing an increasingly graying society coupled with a low birth rate. 